Here in the garage, we're normally working on Corvettes, motorcycles, boats, planes, but I also like old retro computers. So what we're doing today is I've got a Commodore 1084 monitor. It needs a new, they're good monitors, but they have problems with the power switch. It doesn't always catch. So what I've got, I found the original switch is no longer available. So I found this switch, which I'll put information on it down in the uh, links or I'll put some information on there somewhere. But this is a different switch. They don't make the stock one anymore. So we're going to try putting this one in there. Some other guys have used this. It's a direct pin to pin. The shaft is a little shorter, but it's still, you just have a little slack take up before you hit there. So what we're going to do, first thing we got to do is take it apart. There are five screws to get this off. Two up in here, one right here, and two down below. And then once you do that, the case will slide up. Oh, this cord is normally wrapped around here. You gotta pull that loose. And this slides up, and you have one connector in here on the circuit board for your speakers. Pull that off. Case slides right off. The speakers in there. Little dust. I bought this thing out oh, here a few months ago, and I haven't. I've used it. It works, but I haven't taken it apart to clean it yet, or do any other work on it. So, yeah, it needs blown out. Definitely. What I need to do now is discharge the picture tube because it has been ran and eventually I need to go in and change all the capacitors on it. And right now it's going to check the picture to or just to fix the switch. So we need to ground, hook up a ground to this plate under there. That should reach. Set that back down. Get a screwdriver. Hook our connector up to it. Then we go in under this suction cup. Until we touch the anode. And that should have disconnected the picture tube. Or discharged it. We won't end up shocking ourselves. Yeah. Now that you've got the back cover off, your switch is right down in there. So we need to be able to move this whole circuit board assembly out. That way we can get that switch because it's on this panel right here. So to start this, monitor up hey I can see myself <laughs> there's a little prong here push that in that lets this side circuit board start sliding back and hold it up tilt the monitor back where it doesn't lock back in place then, you need to gently remove this circuit board from the tube and then take off some zip ties on your wiring. I've already cut like three or four zip ties off in there. And that will let the wiring have enough slack to move back, start sliding back. Over here, this wire here plugs onto the circuit board. Take it off, it goes up to the LED apparently. Continue sliding it back. Make sure all your wires, you're not pulling anything too tight. 
And then this part slides out. As you can see, we've got this loose now. So there's two screws here in the front to take out to get the switch loose. As you can tell, this switch, it hangs up. That's why it doesn't work properly. So, let's stop for a second, unscrew that switch, and then see what we got. All right, the two screws are removed. There's the front of it. The other switch It's shaped a little different, but it still has the two screw holes mounted up the same way. As you can see, the shaft is just slightly shorter, which just means there'll be a little extra take, out, take up when you push the button. They're both a four conductor switch. And from everything I've read, it's a direct, you know, just wire to wire solder it up. So I'm gonna go get my soldering iron this baby heated up and we'll swap that switch out and see if it works. So far I've got the two power wires soldered on there. The original switch had eyelets so you could just stick the wire through, bend it around and solder it. This thing has just little nub posts sticking up. So I wanted to wrap the wire around it and solder it instead of just, you know, just slapping it on there with solder on the side. But I needed a little more wire. Now, underneath here, there was a little clip that held the power cord. And since they've been together for 30-some years, it wouldn't come loose and let the cord slide forward. So I cut it off, and when I put it back together, I should be able to just fasten the cord to that black uh, bracket with a zip tie. And then it feeds through the bottom of the case, so it shouldn't go anywhere. But I did have to cut that loose. Now I've just got to solder the two lines going to the uh, circuit board. Screw it back together. Second set of wires are on, so now it's just a matter of pivoting around and screwing it back in and sliding stuff back together. Before I slid this back together, I wanted to show you where that clip was that held the cord. The clip fit into that rectangular shaped hole and You can see those lines on the cord, it dug in pretty hard. You might be more patient than I am, be able to get that loose and slide the cord, but like I said, I cut it off. I just drilled that small hole in the side, ran the zip tie around, holds the cord just fine. As long as you stay there at the bottom, you're not next to the circuit board, so you're not gonna hurt anything there. The only other issue I ran into is switch itself the two mounting ears are the holes are just slightly wider than the stock one so what I did was just took a took a drill bit used it like a file just barely uh, elongated the holes outward in the plastic and it screwed right in so now I'm going to just slip this circuit board back in fasten everything back up and we'll be done well, before I put the cover back on, I would check the switch. The switch works perfect. As far as uh, clicking on and off, it doesn't hang up like that. Let's see if I got everything wired right. Do the old smoke test. Like that. I think she's good. It obviously has no signal. And... No smoke. And it was always shutting it off that was a problem before. Ah, oh, that's sweet. Yep, I'll put the cover back on, hook it back up to the Commodore. We are back in the house. Time to test this thing out for, for real. It's all back together and ready to go, plugged in. Hopefully it works. There's the monitor on. Yeah, and here comes the computer. Well, would you look at that? It works. It's always good to fix something old like this and make it make it work again.
Till next time.